Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I originally was going to bring you a Udachi video today. I still have that video, um, but I was recently featured a community replay on Spartan Elite 43's channel. And uh, <laughs> I haven't been putting game sound in my videos, so he did the sound effects uh, for the game in the video. I will include a link below. It's pretty hilarious. But long story short, I'm going to start including game audio in my videos that haven't been finished yet. So if the video hasn't been made, I'm going to insert the game audio into it so you'll have the sounds. This is one of the videos that I have that doesn't have sound. I actually just made it recently, so I don't know why it doesn't have sound. But I didn't have any sound. Uh, to to put into this match. We are in the low yang. Um, we are on crash zone. We are top tier. And the reason why I'm bringing you this video after I already brought you a low yang video is simple because in the recent update, they introduced commanders for the Pan-Asian destroyer line. Now, majority of them are Chinese. One is Thai. Um, another one is Indonesian, but the majority of them appear to be Chinese or Taiwanese, if you want to make that distinction. So we have one of the new commanders here in the Lo Yang. Uh, I don't know why I keep looking at the teams, I guess, to see what is out there. And let's be honest, what's out there is a Nelson. So we are... Um, just exiting the Alpha Cap, heading towards Bravo. And there's Nelson out here, so we're going to go try to engage him. So the commander I'm using in the Lo Yang is the Concealment Commander. It is the one I recommend to you. If you are observant, you would have figured that out already. As you can see, our Concealment is reduced from normal, from Ding, who has it at 5.2. We now, Ding Rusheng, we now have Ding. I'm, I don't remember his last name. Ding and Deng. Ding is the base commander. Deng is the concealment commander. So we are using Deng. I don't have him at a very high level yet. I think at the time of this video, he was level 11, legendary level 1. I now have him up to level 12. Um, but in this video, part of his base trait is a small decrease to detectability. All right, so we blundered into the detectability of the Bismarck. So we launched some torpedoes, smoke up, and we hit our sonar. And so you can use this combo to either wipe out an enemy destroyer who doesn't have sonar, or you can use it to farm damage from battleships. All right, we're going to do most of the damage farming with five torpedo strikes. However, even a full salvo is not enough to finish off the Bismarck, and I would imagine most Tier 7 ships, you cannot finish them off with one salvo of torpedoes from the Loyang. So please, keep that in mind. To those of you who have missed out on the Loyang, I think you really missed out. I now consider the Loyang to be the strongest all-around destroyer at the tier. It's got four... Um, guns, they're bent. I mean, it's the Benson minus a gun turret with sonar. The sonar is exceptionally long range, 5.4 kilometers. So you've got the rate of fire and the uh, ballistic capabilities of an American destroyer. You've got this incredible 5.4 kilometer sonar. <clears throat> and you have regular torpedoes. Now, the rest of the Pan Asian destroyer line has what is referred to as deep water torpedoes. You'll know because the indicator of a regular torpedo is a triangle, the indicator of a deep water torpedo is kind of like a ball or a ball with a little carrot at the bottom. Um, either way, if you're in a destroyer and somebody shoots at you with a torpedo that is a deep water torpedo, you will not be harmed by it. So you can just I'll kind of hang out. We uh, decide to give up on that Bismarck, but instead we are going to make the Nelson pay for his crimes. Now, we took a very big splash from the Nelson there. But here you're going to see, you know, I hate to say it, the power and maneuverability of a Benson-class destroyer. 
So we get the Nelson with one torpedo there, and we're going to immediately cut back against the grain, which allows us to dodge some of these secondaries, and we're going to shoot our second rack of torpedoes, and the Nelson cannot get away. He takes three, dev strike, kill number one. All right, Bismarck a little too far away to engage. Uh, Charles Martel, definitely the ship I'm worried about right now. As you can see, I want to say the enemy Suzuya was back over in the corner near Alpha. Don't know what he is up to. Um, I think we are the only blue ship left over here at this point. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to create space between this Charles Martel so he, he can't detect me. And I think he has sonar, but I'll be honest, I'm not sure. I have a Charles Martel. I rarely, rarely play cruisers, as you know, so I don't know what his capabilities to detect me are. And since we are um, just over a third health, I have no plans to engage him with my guns. All right, so we are going to try to get a beneficial angle on the Charles Martel here. I am intending to launch torpedoes. Um, trying to create a little bit of distance, hoping my teammates shoot at him. Finally get that reload, and we are going to turn and torp at Charles Martel. One of two ships left on the red team. The blue team really doing work today, really waffle stomping, but I wanted to bring you this game, not because it's a tremendous individual effort by me in terms of kills, but to show you the damage potential of the Lo Yang with a true destroyer commander. And in my opinion, it's high. Keep in mind, we are top tier here. There aren't Yamatos and GKs to farm damage from. You know, we're here at six and seven. And we've really only engaged three ships at this point. All right, we are going to engage the Charles Martel with our guns. We torqued him up with some torpedoes. He's flooding. And we're just trying to finish him off with our guns before we can get a salvo out. And we do so for kill number two. Now the Suzuya, last ship left on the enemy team. Uh, he is going into Bravo after capturing Alpha. Would really like my teammates to engage him. But I think you know we are also going to engage him. Because we are probably the second closest ship at this point. And otherwise, the video would be over. All right, so we're kind of maneuvering towards the Suzuya. We do not have a speed boost. We sacrificed it for the sonar. If you are, if you own a Lo Yang and you do not run the sonar, I believe you are making a mistake. Just one guy's opinion. The opinion of someone, as you know, average player. 53% winning percentage that occasionally has a good game, a game that I bring to you. Big ups to my loyal subscribers. I don't think Spartan mentioned that I have a channel, so I'm not expecting a rush of traffic and a glut of new subscribers, even though he made me internet famous. Uh, and I thank him wholeheartedly for doing that. All right, so the Suzuya now in torpedo range. We're going to launch one set. And then I want to say here, when he turns back the other way, because he's doing a fair amount of maneuvering, we will launch the other set. And we're going to do that right here. And he is getting close to the maximum range. He is spotted by my teammates, so I am going to smoke up. And I am going to start putting those guns to work on the Suzuya. And as you can see, American HE not letting me down. I did not want to try the armor piercing at this range. We will catch him on the bow of the ship with a torpedo and unlock the high caliber metal. Just going to keep pouring in that HE. We have a full broadside. We have all four guns on target. I am maneuvering in my smoke screen to keep it that way. But at the end of the day, a teammate finishes him off. 
So here we are headed towards my favorite screen. That is the Victory screen. As I get some steel there. We ended up with a high caliber metal, a devastating strike, 169,000 plus damage, 12 big torpedo strikes, two kills, one solo base cap. We ended up with 486,000 plus silver, 8898 ship XP and commander XP. We are not using any booster flags, if I'm remembering that correctly. There we are at the top of the board in the low yank, 3295. I want to say on WoW's builds, the best XP game, base XP, is in the 4,000s. Shocker. But I did put that one up for a damage record. All right, here's the Commander Deng Shi Chang. You can see Quantum of Solace does lower your detectability slightly. That's who I would use in this ship. That's just my opinion. Um, you can use whoever you want, but I think that concealment matters. It can get as low in the low yang as 4.9 if you have Deng, Swirsky, and Bay all maxed out. Thanks, everybody.